Alright, I wanted to share with y'all today uh, one of the most common problems why you do not have water or possibly why your breaker could be tripping. So if you look at this switch, it's extremely rusted. But if you look right here, you see all those ants down in there? Let's see if I can zoom in. There's a bunch of ants right in that area. And what they'll end up doing, they'll end up getting here in your contacts right here and I'll show you what they look like in a second. So we got our cover, our switch cover and we look in here and see all the bugs that are in there. They like the heat of the contactor. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna use the corner of the switch cover right there. I'm gonna go down here to where the contacts are and we're gonna flick it. See how I'm opening the contacts? And then they shut. I'm grabbing that lip right there Sometimes you gotta just clean those contacts, flick it a few times, and then it'll work. So let's go to the breaker panel and see. What'll happen is an ant or a bug or a beetle will crawl in there, get in between the two contacts, and then when the switch calls for water and it closes it, it closes on that bug and it doesn't complete a circuit. Okay. So because the switch is so full of bugs, you can see them in there. The switch is pretty in pretty rough shape. We're going to go ahead and change that switch out, make sure all the power's off, and we're going to check the bottom underneath the cap in the upper corner here. See, 4060. So we need to make sure that the tank has somewhere between 35 and 38 pounds of air pressure in it. And we need to go to Lowe's and buy us a new switch. And then we'll put it on. So we got our switch off. And you can tell it's in a really, really rough shape. Those right there are your contacts. So that would be the pump is off. And then that's the pump is on. And sometimes the bug will be right down in there in that little opening. And it'll close on it. Now another thing is when you take your pressure switch off, you're going to want to take a screwdriver like this down here to the nipple. You want to take it in there and clean that nipple out. Because you can see, see all the discoloration below it? And all that was just build up inside of that nipple. So what will happen is, if your nipple here is gray, galvanized, the nipple can clog up. And what that will do, that will make you run out of water in the house and then randomly in like a minute or so it will come back on. And that is typically when the nipple is clogged up. So you'll still have to take the switch off to unclog the nipple. And then you have a little tiny orifice inside of that hole, but you can't really see it on camera. But that's one of the most common no water situations is a bug in the pressure switch or the nipple is clogged up and you'll get intermittent water troubles. So if you're gonna try it at home, try that first. Just be sure to turn the power off and take a picture of it so you can wire it up uh, correctly and then do what I just showed you. Okay, our new switch is all threaded on and tightened up and we use liquid uh, Teflon pipe dope or you can also use Teflon tape. Okay, well, we got the pressure switch all put on. A new switch, all the bugs are gone, the nipples completely cleaned out and the system is ready to be fired up and ready to go. Thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, need any help, shoot me a message in the comments section. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. See y'all next time.